Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? We're back and this is South Dakota video number two. Everything that you need to know about what you can do in South Dakota all over the state. This part two is definitely going to give you more information. If you haven't seen part one, be sure to go check that out, whichever corner I need to link that in properly. Um, and before we get into it, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share. And let's not waste any more time. Here you go. We're going kayaking. Hello. <laughs> We're good. We got her now. You guys, we kayak it. Talk about things you can do in South Dakota outdoor activities. And I didn't mention before, but all of these activities that I'm doing are based out of Rapid City, which is the second biggest city in the state. And it's on the west side of the state where the Black Hills are. So there are things to do on the other state. I am going to put like a list together either in the description or on the screen for you guys to like reference everything. Um, and have like a whole compiled thing of or list of things that you can do in South Dakota and uh, No shortage of outdoor activities. We are obviously kayaking my whole family's out here. We're having a lot of fun and Yeah, uh, let's see what else we can get into and I'll see if I can answer some more questions They're way They're down there. Very, very, very deep. It's so good. Oh, yeah. Brownie me. Brownie me. For real. He's a squirrel. I'm sinking now because he like scooped water in. It was really funny. <laughs> like he didn't splash me, he just like scooped it onto me. Finished kayaking just in time for the rain! Wow! <laughs> that was a lot of fun though. I mean, 10 out of 10 recommend any kayaking in the Black Hills. Pure entertainment. Are you getting fireworks? All the goods. I think we have a lot. That doesn't look like a lot, but we have a lot. And my stepdad is buying more. So to say 4th of July in South Dakota is awesome is probably a bit of an understatement. And Kyler's never experienced it before. So it's about to go down. Um, so that being said, I would say if you can plan your trip to South Dakota around the 4th of July, like, it's epic fun, fireworks are legal, depending on the year and the, the dryness of the state and all that stuff, but there's loads of fireworks shows and loads of fun things that you can do with fireworks depending on where you're staying. So take that into consideration and let's get to some 4th of July shenanigans. Ooh. Run away, run away. Okay, stop the move. <laughs> Whoa! Was that crazy, William? That went way to the moon? Yeah. Wow, that was cool. I love it. The warning, it's a little extreme. Everybody ready? 
Tyler is having his first firework experience. He's never lit anything off that really goes into the air. Okay, well this is like first real, real, real experience. He just lit a big chungus off of that one. And now he's doing some really duddy ones. So it's the full experience here, all right? Oh, and that's my cousin Theo. Oh! I'm out! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, it's gonna go way up in the air. Yeah. Hold on, buddy. Ready, set, go. Three people say the same thing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Nikki Gars. <laughs> Nikki got it first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> South Dakota you guys everything that you can do is right there in those two videos if you have any other questions please leave them down below and I would happily make another video or answer your questions super quickly I also have a ton of information up on Instagram so feel free to follow me there and make sure you subscribe here before you leave I am heading to London and Iceland literally today <laughs> and I will be making all sorts of videos about that so if you have any questions about that also let me know and yeah I will see you guys in the next one bye Did it work? No. Uh. It's not pointy enough. Whoa. Oh, sorry. <laughs>